Someone had asked me, what is the point of living? I paused, looked around from left to right, asking myself, why is this person asking me this question? Then I began to proceed with my answer. Well, I'm painting a fair share of works and I desire to get them to their keeper for a fair price. In this business under a system we call life, there's a lot of things I just don't understand. Yet I've grown to understand what I should give my time and energy to. This particular painting that I painted earlier today, you can see that even with the right intentions, things tend to go their own way. I pause for just a few seconds to check my phone. And out my side view, I see this vibrant individual jump up in the air while clapping their hands, while calmly expressing, Hey Kev! Yeah, what's good? My B, I lost my train of thought for a second there. Just so many layers to this question that every time I start, I feel the emotions of the words I'm seeing in my head takes me to other places sometimes. I strive to accomplish what drives my heart and soul. The stories behind the smiles or the frowns, for I know what's down must come up. Surely you can ask your mama, grandma, auntie, uncle, papa, just someone that has walked this path longer than you. And do not judge them by what they have or their appearance. They have a story as well. <laughs> they looked at me as if they were not following what I was talking about. I thought surely they would just walk away and leave it alone. Cause right now it's about 12.30 and it's time to eat something energizing, you know? <laughs> as I'm filled with the happiness from this vibrant individual, they're just staring at me. They begin to laugh too. So I'm like, this is my chance. Hey, where are you going? I hear hit the side of my neck. Boy, I'm used to smacking these mosquitoes where I'm from. <laughs> we laughed again, and they joined me on the quest to get some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> I already know. It's a beautiful day outside, isn't it? I'm thankful to see another sunrise. I could jam out to some Gracie's Corner or blast bands like Pop One, her brother, we stand for our mothers and fathers, right? Then they spoke. And our sisters. And our brothers. Of course, you avocado head looking child. This is now. The future we have all been waiting for. Yes. They hug me. Yes. I say thank you. And I continue. <sighs> Once you find a love for things you don't like about yourself, by correcting them, then you'll realize that nothing has you chasing the bag more than you. <laughs> I told you don't be sad and get a bag already played. You know that get part? That don't mean it ain't gonna come with no sweat, tears, and failed dreams only opening up doors for new and better ones, baby. <laughs> you see, the thing about negativity is only temporary, just as happiness. Yet the numbness of love to always be pure and forgive is outstanding. Over the cycles and foundations that I've built within myself, 
I've been able to ignite and rebirth of fuel and creativity to find some business about myself, eh? Honey. So the feelings of lack are only self-inflicted when you're not looking at the abundance that is creation all around us. I trust that you're smarter than a fifth grader, right? Smarter than any test the system could ever give you, right? For the same reason you asked me this question, right? They looked at me puzzled. I really was soaking things in. Hey, yo, homie, you good? They shake their head, yes, and they ask me in a funny tone. Like I, I always knew what I wanted to do, yet I couldn't see a way to do it due to my living situation. I glanced down at my stompers I painted, and then right back into this vibrant individual's eyes as I stepped closer towards them within six feet of their bubble, about arm's length and distance. I've been there before. Even as you get out and go on your own way, it seems like you're dealing with the same situation. Check this out. Do you want to know how I know that you're amazing? It's because our inner selves has the power to redeem what we thought was lost and needed to be found. We were born for a purpose within a system of more purpose. There's this famous cliche and quote. It's chess, not checkers. <laughs> I don't play the games, yet yeah, I did. And I have an idea on purpose. But it's about the purpose of the board. And in general, as, <laughs> as a popular thing, maybe there's still times that we don't know never heard of or even played to begin with to get it. Yet, with an idea, that is enough to get you to where you're needed as well as being aware of a point and loving to live. Hey, hold on. Let's go on to this place over here. I gotta head home and get some more work done. So, let's speed it up. We go inside and enter this colorful place filled with live music, art, dancers, and other creatives having conversations while enjoying some good eating. <laughs> the waitress was kind, sweet, and beautiful. Her name was Angel, and she was our tour guide this evening. We walk to our seats and are given our menus to place in order. Well, thank you, Angel. You must be having a good day. Make sure the chef puts some of that energy in our food. Angel laughs, then proceeds to ask us for our order. Let's get a party platter. We're going to share and finish chopping it up for a bit. And let me get two Shirley Temple Spike. Cause we're swimming in the big old blue ocean and we're getting down to the bottom of our discussion. Angel laughs again. She took our orders and went back towards the kitchen for a minute. The vibrant individual across from me looks at me with an interesting look. Boy, yo. <laughs> I'm loving life, that's all. We don't know where it's gonna take us all the time. Yet we do know when the time's right. <laughs> they replied, Well, I'm glad I met you and we were able to have this talk and it turned into some cool ish, just chilling, going fishing like you said. True, true. Well, our food's right there. Wow, that was fast, Angel. Thank you. My mind drifted off into a space wondering what does Angel think about the purpose of life. 
and she began to tell me that she could tell I was hungry. So she stepped up and made it herself, because she has a dream of being a chef. Yet when she applied, they only had a position open for her to be a waitress. After I finished my food, and Angel brought me back the check, I spoke to her. Angel, I want you to know that a better way of seeing your position is to see it as a learning experience. For one day, you're going to be head chef you'll have some of my art pieces hanging on the walls of your own establishment. How's that for teamwork and dedication, Angel? She laughs and puts a piece of paper in my pocket, then tells me and my guests, have a great day, see y'all later, and continues on with her shift. We continue to sit and chat for a bit while our food digests. That was delicious, and Angel seems really cool. I wish her nothing but the best. One thing I know is that connecting with people and our environment around, no matter how good or bad the conditions are, we can know that we have the will to keep pressing on, and that's what I would say is the purpose for me. All praise to you, stop. Yeah. Let's go, man. Let's go. So we get up, head to the door, walk out. The vibe the individual looks at me. Arms wide open. Say goodbye. But to me, I say, see you later. I give them a hug. We have that understanding. And we release. <laughs> One thing that Break free. Dr. Spacely's Wonderful World, 